l thankfully, I can destroy a uh, aeroplane with my uh, sidearm. Which it just isn't a problem. It just isn't a problem. And you, well, you saw that I fell. I used up my continues, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and, and it will happen a few times in this game where you will see me die to what is p my perceived form of bullshit. Okay. But that is up for you to decide, my dear viewer. Uh oh, this isn't good. I could this isn't good. I, I really do need the tank at this point. I do need the tank at this point. The pistol is good. The pistol is good. It's not bad. And also, I don't have to keep hitting the shoot button. It will auto shoot for me, which is wonderful. These bouncy bombs, this is pretty much as far as I would get during the arcade. But you can just sit here and shoot them, and yes, they bounce at you. They become a problem. There, there are certain things in this game you just have to know. On, on what's going to happen in order to avoid the bullshit, okay? I don't know this game en enough in order to escape that. You know what I'm talking about. I don't I don't have that that in-game info to just really get around the game and what it's trying to do to me at any time at any point really. So what I'm going to do is get back in and take a deep breath and pray that it goes my way. Here we go guys. All right. That's fine. And this guy, take note, take note of him. Take note because you will see him again. See how, how he was just picked up there by an aeroplane? He was picked up by an aeroplane, okay? So, make note of that. We might be seeing him again. He's not who you might think he will be. If you've played this game before, he has many forms. Video options. Do I have... Full screen. Does that work? I think that works. In case I get sticky keys, it won't be tapping me out the game. It kind of keeps me in. Alright. Here we go. So this is really where the game gets a bit of ridiculous. It gets... It gets... It gets ridiculous. And I think, if I'm honest, I, I only got to this part once in the game. Only once. You see how they're like throwing multiple enemies at you now? They're giving you some interesting situations. Um, there are absolutely moments in this game that are like, alright, this guy, we need his money now. Like, the helicopter is, is, this stuff is all pretty generic so far. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal. This, that is, is someone that would be of a, uh, uh, intermediate level of this game wouldn't have a problem with that. This, though, gets a bit silly, and I actually enjoy this mechanic. If you look, look. Look at this. They have a door with a danger thing that you cannot shoot. Okay. So you have to hit the arrow. And the door goes up. How cool is that? Look at the art for it. Isn't it cool? Isn't it cool? Alright. There is a bit of a delay, I feel like, when you shoot. There. There you go. There you go. There you go. That is it. That is how you play it. Getting on. We're getting into it. I will pick up the frog. They have the most random uh, things here for your pickups, but all of them give you a bonus to your score. I'm not sure what the idea is behind these things. Alright, that's good. We picked up a bit of ammo. What I could have done is maybe been a bit more sparing with the heavy machine gun. And that would have allowed me to get a little bit of ammo for it and escape the issue. Huh. <laughs> Oh, I could have done with that bonus there. That's okay. Not a big deal for me. Not a big deal. And that snowball will... If I get through this without dying, I will literally gift a sub to everyone. I will. I will. Oh! I was doing well. I was doing sick. Come on. Come on, boy. 
like that. Like it's like there are there are it's it's a very hard a very hard guy to fight this this guy. Very hard. He's ruthless. It's like almost like there's someone on the dev team just waiting to jump on this game and be like, yeah, we're we're gonna got him, got him, got him. Oh my god, man, that's that was hard. I'm not even. I can't even convey. It's very difficult to convey how difficult that was. I have enough bombs, really. Uh oh, uh oh. Now, yeah. From this level, like I mentioned at the beginning, it will be getting silly. It just gets silly. All right. There we go. It just gets silly. <laughs> it's, I love the shotgun. It's so fun. Um, and I, I am taken back by like the visual artwork of this one because it's beautiful. It's a beautiful game. Like considering, like what this was, um, early nineties. This came out. Early nineties. It's a. It's such a nice game, and it's always for me. It's always fun to play. Always fun. Uh I don't mind it at all. I don't mind it at all. It does remind. It does make me think though. Like if Doom had a two D side scroller shooter, they I would want them to make it like this. This is about with demons. Like, can you imagine that if Doom just had like a bit of a two D shooter? Oh, I saw that. I saw that just at the. It would look like this, and I would want to play it uh, quite a lot. All right, I'm gonna try and play without. I love how the also I'm gonna try and play this. Yeah, sorry, I'm getting distracted here. So the the tank on here, the artwork is lovely. We all appreciate that, and also I appreciate how the cannon on the front of Metal Slug has like a bit of a mortar to it. There, that's the sweet spot right there. There, that is the sweet spot. You can't afford to sit up, and I don't think I'm gonna get that guy now. I'm not gonna save that prisoner. Um, I'm not all also a, a fun thing to know is that I'm not time bound. I didn't mean to do that. Do the self destruct either. All right, we're good, we're good, we're good. This is this is pretty much where I I uh, stop looking like a really cool guy on this game, because it, it just becomes ridiculous at some point. Not not like contra levels, but it's just like they literally will fill the screen because contra is is um was that an arcade game? Was contra in the arcade? There you go. You have to avoid those like mad. Like that, you have to, w as soon as it powers up, you can't afford to stand in the way, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard. Like, uh, like again, you just have to predict it. Uh, if it's there when you already are firing, it, it's not going to work out for you. Um, so if I just stick to the side here, like, it, it's so, you can see how unforgiving it is, right? You literally cannot afford to stay on the side, uh, in the middle, if in any way. That's one thing I'm learning about this game, and it is very much a learning experience with games like this within that time period back in the early 90s, you know. Th I remember there was another one called Alien, which was 2D side scroller shooter type, explorey, save people. And it, it ruined me as a kid, because if you don't save them, I just thought it, it would be fun as a kid to just see what would happen. For sure, that's it. I just thought I would just enjoy seeing, oh, what will happen. And all the... <laughs> They all die, like all their chests explode, and they die horribly, like the male and female um, people that you are- oh, I jumped into that, I so jumped into that. That you um, are tasked with saving, they all die, and they like scream and everything. It's like horrible. Now I think... I want to go up here, is that- Alright, I totally want to go up here. I totally want to go up here. Can I Can I get this guy? No. He doesn't know how it landed in, in his house. Ah, oh, I don't know how, I don't even know how you get that. And these guys, they, they are ruthless as well. They all jump in and they cut you up. They cut you up. They cut you up good. 
There you go. That's how you do that. Now this is also a bit of a tricky segment because the tank, the tank will appear on the cliff, and you have to dodge it, and then another one. Yeah, that's it. I remember now. I thought something weird was going to happen. Yeah, you have to dodge the first one, and then another one comes over the cliff. Like what? Like that. Here it comes. Here it comes. And then dodge it. But narrowly missing like more tank shells as well. But now that one's done, right? I did that. I, I, he clearly threw a grenade at me, and I wasn't swift enough to receive uh, to to get out the way. To get out the way, we're doing well. And there's so so there's one, and really I would do well to like keep them down. And I want to avoid all the sh as many shots as I can within um, my time on this level. Oh my god, that would have been an amazing dodge. You see how I jumped through the first one? That would have been amazing. And like these are moments like here, like it's not. I'm not even ex exaggerating. Like it gets, it just gets ridiculous unless you know how to play the game, which I really don't. Like I don't know all of them. I know maybe the first t level and a half, like first two levels and a half. But you you can see where my experience with this is is very much um, not consolidate. Yeah, like that's how you take them out. I just learned that if you just need them, <laughs> they hate that. There you go, and they fall down pretty fast as well. Dude, I keep doing that. I don't mean to do that. Alright, we've got a shotgun. Dude, this guy's nuts. Like, he just runs. I love the shotgun as well. It's just, it's horribly overpowered. I, I'm gonna keep it. I wanna keep it. I love the shotgun. It's very good. That's unfortunate. Wasn't expecting that. Alright, here we go. Now, there is a way to play this. Can you? I don't think you can escape that once it gets that way. Like again, you have to know, like really, how to play this game. Which is, I feel like there are people out there. Can I jump on this? That actually could coach and guide me through this experience of what is Metal Slug. Uh, he's gonna have a drop for me. Ah, uh, no, not quite. But also, take this time to just absorb the artwork. Like really, just absorb the artwork, and I w I really want to know like how this works. Even though these bosses aren't really that strong, they're just very difficult. They're just very tricky. They're just tricky, you know. Um, to to deal with because if you like I said, if you haven't played the game, it's gonna ruin your savings account. It will ruin your savings account. Alright, so this, you'll notice that each level as well kind of represents a certain part of Europe. Um, this is more like France. I'm not sure where I was on the previous level. Maybe you guys can engage on that. But, um, hang on. I'll, I'll rescue this guy and I'll get myself a new prisoner. Come on. There we go. Uh, that actually looked like a piece of poop. There we go. This is it. This is it. Um, so, yeah, France. Oh, my word. Serbia. Germany at some point that that some level does represent and even the co the Congo like there there are some shots you just c uh, if you get into an area you you just can't avoid them and I remember this as a kid like it was uh, nuts it, it was nuts because as a kid you have the reactions right that's why they're so that's why the younger generation are so good at Fortnite so good at Fortnite because it, it yeah. It, Maybe you don't have to worry so much about like your your knowledge on the platform. However, you can make up for it with just really good reflex, right? Here we go. That'll do. There we go. I just wanted to burn him. That's it. I just wanted to burn him. Alright, can I absolutely blow that up? 
absolutely blow that up. And the, the metal slug is such a beautiful thing. Like, if I wanted to get a tattoo, this is what I would get. I would love a metal slug tattoo, and I'm sure it exists somewhere. Um, and I, I think on some of the later episodes of Metal Slug, like this game has had so many iterations. I think it's had up to five, but nothing is like... The, I, I don't even know why it, at this point the game keeps doing that. Like the, the auto self-destruct should really just 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 take it off. And I feel like uh, my personal best at this game already is about 21 pounds. It is. It is around 21 quid. With uh, not not in real money, but like in virtual currency that I used to play. That I'm used to playing. That I'm paying right now to play this game for you. There you go. And that's another segment. Like if you get stuck on it, it will it will crush you. It will crush you, and there's there's nothing against like nothing that can uh, stop it. It can't stop it. Here we go. So you just have to get through the gate. Like here, like that, and then just get the hell away. There you go. Yeah, use that on the bikes. Got it, boy. Using my cannon to, like, upset the... Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. I wish I could have had that for a bit longer. I've had this boss only two times before. Uh, so, yeah, I think I'm prepared for most of these tricks, but I could have done with, with not dying there. I could have done with not dying. And the flamethrower isn't really too strong. And it's hard, it's hard, man. You just have to be aware on how the bosses work. And they, they try to tempt you in with that thing. I can afford bombs. Yeah. But you really don't want to go underneath it because then it, it starts firing tracking all, all over the place. Like, and it's just, it becomes a horrid mess. Like, it really does just become a bleh, Like, you don't want to do it. So, uh, I'm approaching the game a little bit differently. I always enjoy this game. I think we're not far from the end. Yeah, here we go. Right, can you see the enemies? There's one up there, and there's one below me. There we go. With the forward motion. And uh, do I enjoy any of the other games? Like, do I enjoy the other games that was released within this uh, franchise? Yeah, I do. I do. Like, they Xbox had some, didn't it? Oh my god, that was mad. Oh, <laughs> like the grenades are mad. The grenades. I lost. I love the shotgun so much. I love it. Like, how it just vaporizes things. Oh my word. Like, it's so so. Uh so um so good. Oh, uh, hang on. Ah, oh, so he just threw a knee straight at me. Like I'm, I'm doing right here, guys. It might look a bit crazy. Oh, avoiding the trying to avoid the tank shells incoming there on my w on my behalf. And I don't don't know. Yeah. So sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. My question was, do I appreciate the other titles within uh, this franchise? Yeah, I do. The, I know the Xbox had one, which was very fun, very fun. They, they even had a very good story with it. Oh, shit. Nah, that wasn't going to work. See how you get stuck and then the game just screws you? <laughs> like, it's, it's so hard. It's so hard. Um, and they even like pushed the story. There were aliens and things. They pushed it really far. Ah, oh. they pushed it really far. <laughs> Tank at the bottom got me. I thought I had that. I I, I thought I totally had that. Um. 
yeah, it had aliens, and the artwork was even better. The bosses were just ridiculous. It is, it, it is ridiculous. Some of the two D artwork on this game is, it's just mad, and it, it's just something that stands out, and it always has done for a quite a while, to be honest. And this being the final stage, I believe. It is also the longest, but it, it is with that said, guys, my dear viewers, dear viewers here, it is one of the fun, funnest, funnerest. Like, no other game really brings this to you, you know? Now, I think I need to get off the tan the cannon here. Yeah, they, you see, they, they drop it on you at some point. And so it's kind of like, mm. And they get faster. There. There you go. Ah, well, hard to avoid. Hard to avoid at this point. So I am, I am focused very much on the planes here. And uh, what I would like you to notice is like the kind of variety of enemies you get. Like we've, of course, we saw the helicopter before. We saw that before, didn't we? And they have instead upped the rate of these bombs falling. And it is, it's it's nuts. It's it's enough to make you go mad. Like, I, d I think I've done well enough to kind of avoid most of the damage there. But there are some parts like even for me, it's just like, ugh. I care. I'm, you just fill it up. You just fill it up. You can hit the rockets as well. And you just really have to hit this barrel enough times. There it goes. There it goes. Oh, and I I, I missed the the metal slug. I, I never noticed that before. That on the bridge there, as I destroy it, is a metal slug. That sucks. But th the principle is very much the same, like you must clear your screen regardless of, of whatever enemy type does come for you, right? Like, it, and you have to, I hit that to progress, otherwise I will get bogged down. Also the controls, when I step onto the machine gun here, are reversed. <laughs> the controls are reversed. Oh, come on, get on there, get on there. Yeah, good, 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 good before the next wave comes that's just fine that's just fine Th the 3d like even i feel like there is a touch of 3d in this i'm not sure maybe it was something they were experimenting with at the time you can i can notice these scuba suits in the floor i'm not sure what they are yeah there they are N not a problem and this is where i get off and you will notice that there are many pickups for me lots of wreckage as well and the man these represent like uh, captured soldiers i think and that you are rescuing uh, all your captured soldiers. And uh, again, with the helicopter man, they have up the drop of this. If you look back now to the beginning, earlier segment of this video, it's just like, it's not as bad. Like, it's not. And these guys, yeah, if they land on you like that, they, you just die. Yeah. That was it. It's just mad, dude. This game, it just, get, it just gets ridiculous. And we're almost there at the, at the final boss. Almost there. Take note, the metal slug in the background looks so cool. Looks so cool. This guy. Can I shoot his rocket? Oh! His machine gun decided to kick off. I've never had that before. But yeah, that's interesting, because usually it would just go straight to this. Oh, I miss... The, the jump is a bit slow on it. I would miss his... Um, machine gun, it wouldn't, it wouldn't hit me. Alright, I'm out of nades for now. Whoa, there you go. Alright, it is, it is getting a bit sporty for me. I could have uh, backed my way up onto that staircase, but it's fine. I feel like this is probably my best play of this game so far. 
And it, it's not a bad game to play, to be honest, guys. I recommend it very much. It's over on the Steam store. Oh, man. It's, it's hard. Like, I see one, you dodge into it, and you end up hitting everything else. I get enough bombs now to kind of make myself look pretty. Uh, they're, they're such a tough thing to, to try to get by. But this is fine. Avoiding the minigun. That was a lot of damage. And this helicopter, everyone, is is thick. Like, it is it is thick. I don't know how I'm supposed to avoid that. I'm still working it out. I'm about, like I said, about two and a half levels into mastering this thing. And this segment here, I think, is when the boss gets to about 50%. Is when... It's, it, it does let up a, a little bit, a little bit on you. So yeah, what I'm going to do is get some nades out. I think you have to kind of, I, I, I can't, I honestly, I'm still figuring out how to get through this. I was playing this game earlier, like in the week. And what I did was just like stay in the corner on the far right. But even now, like I can't, it's not, it's just not working out for me, is it? Oh my God. You just have to know what's up. Like here, you have to take them all out. It's rough. It's been rough. Those ones, you don't... Also, you don't really get anything in the game that tracks you like those rockets up until this boss. So you, you're not prepared for it. You are left to improvise and escape those projectiles. It's rough. It's rough. Mission and we did it. We finally got through it all. Very good, guys. Very good job. There it is. So thank you, thank you guys. We're going to be moving it on now to something a little different. We have our objectives to achieve over on Apex. Thank you for standing by. I'm going to be making this available on YouTube and uh, as well as that, a highlight upon Twitch. So thank you, and I'll see you. I'm online at 11 a.m. GMT. I'll see you there. Thank you. There we go. That's that. That's Metal Slug. It's a beautiful game. We love it.